thinking about plants which produce copious quantities of self-sown seedlings, one doesn't really need to look any further than Ichium pininana, the biennial Ichium with the tall blue flowering spike. And you can see three or four old flower spikes there on plants which are now dead. And effectively with this Ichium, it spends its first year growing and developing and its second year producing a huge flower spike and then it dies and it seeds itself everywhere. And if you come and look at where some other Ichiums have uh, died, died down recently. So if you look at this clump of Ichiums that have actually grown and developed since May or June this year and they're already sizable plants or a lot of them are and when you look closely on the ground you can see that there are still tiny Ichiums germinating you know just with two little leaves already and if you were to pot them up and keep them in the greenhouse over winter and keep the frost away um, in 18 months time you'd have a huge flowering plant. They're extremely quick growing and again once you have one Ichium there's never any need to collect seed again. All around, all around where the, the plant grew it will have self-sown itself everywhere and there's an absolute plethora of seedlings that you can carefully dig up. They tend only to have a single tap root so it doesn't they don't take much digging up and as long as you pop them straight away before they wilt uh, you'll have as big a crop of ichiums as you could possibly want so don't ever bother buying ichium seed just go to your neighbor who's got a plant and take a small trowel with you and you too can have a plant or two one could argue that actually you don't want as many as <laughs> ichiums as this growing in one place and I think I'd entirely agree with you and we'll probably just leave come the spring we'll see if they've survived the winter uh, and if they have we'll probably remove the rest and just leave a couple to carry on the progression of seed after seed after seed.